Hey everyone, this is Erin from Softree. Welcome to our tutorial on creating brake lines. To create an accurate model, it is important to set up brake lines. The most common methods to set up brake lines are connecting the brake lines when the coordinate data is important, selecting points by feature name, then using the join function to connect them by proximity to each other, and finally, creating a new feature using the mouse and using XYZ snapping to connect the dots. The first one of these options is by far the least work, but it requires that the features, edge of pavement, etc., are in the correct order and have been properly coded for left and right. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're just looking at our second and third options. We're going to first start by looking at the joining by proximity technique. When points are imported, it is useful to make sure the feature name includes the code, for example, CL for centerline, ERL for edge of road left, and ERR for edge of road right. Using the feature name, we can easily select these features and join them by proximity. In this tutorial, we're going to add some brake lines to a data set that consists of nothing but points. Notice that our road is not well defined. Brake lines are required to define the surface realistically. And it would also be nice to see some other surveyed features, like pavement edges and the road center line. Fortunately, the survey data for this file was imported so that the features are named by the survey point code. When we zoom in and select or hover over these data points, we're able to find out their names. We'll notice the road center line points here are named CLP. The Select Features by Name dialog box allows you to add and remove features to and from a selection set. This can be very powerful if you want to select a group of features that don't share the same name. However, in this case, our operation is going to start with an Unselect All, and then through the Advanced tab, we're going to select matching names for codes that start with CLP. You'll see now our total number selected is 69, and the CLP items are checked in the list to the left. Now that the CLP points are selected and highlighted here in Magenta, we can connect them together by going to Edit, Modify Selected Features, and then selecting Join. Now these points are all in one polyline feature that we can format. Let's update a few of the properties to be more consistent with a center line. We'll change our symbol type and our line. The center line is now visible and represented by a polyline as we desired. It should also be a brake line as it represents the crown of the pavement. Using the properties dialog box, we're going to tag the CLP feature as a brake line. Let's try the same process with our pavement edge points. In this case, our join function didn't work as we'd intended. If the points had been coded for left and right, it would have worked a little bit better. Since that last technique didn't work on our EP points, we're going to use the connecting dots technique. The connecting the dots technique involves more work, but it is the most flexible method for creating a brake line. Before using this method, it is important to make sure snap to point and include Z snap are set. While we were checking out that PowerPoint slide, I took the time to remove the contours from our model to make the following steps a bit easier. We're going to start by modifying our symbols and line types for our EP line to make them easier to see. Using Edit, New Feature, we're going to open the now familiar Feature Properties dialog box. Here, we're going to change the name to EPBL and check the brake line property. This is going to be a new feature created using our mouse. We're now in edit slash insert points mode. Here we can add, edit, and delete points on or off our polyline.
Now that we've tried this method, let's try another method on the other half of our pavement edge. Now we're going to connect the dots using the join function. To do this, we're going to select several points using the mouse while holding our shift key. Then, we're going to pr simply press the join button. It's possible to create a linear feature using a combination of drawing with the mouse and the join function. We're going to start by changing back to selection mode. We'll begin by clicking on one of the EP points to select it, turning it pink, and then holding the shift key and moving down the line selecting the additional points. Through typing Control J or through our edit menu modify selected features and join, we're able to join the points together. We've now created a polyline through a separate means, except for this one is not a break line. So it's back to our feature properties dialog box to adjust that. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for joining us.